Schwebeet. Hello everyone, and welcome to another Speed Paint. Today I'm drawing humanized versions of the characters Shelley, Eustace, and Derek. These characters were created by Mariah Elizabeth, who I would call my favorite YouTuber. She created the characters as squishies. This little family is a fan favorite group for the people who like Mariah Elizabeth's content. If you're at all familiar with her stuff, you'd know that she used to do these videos called Art Things to Do When You're Bored. In one of those videos, she had a suggestion of taking a character and reimagining them in a different form. And of course, I really like to draw humans, so I already loved the idea of taking characters and humanizing them. So I thought I'd do a fan art of her characters in human form. I was also thinking that it would be fun to take inspiration from Spy Family. Spy Family is a really adorable and great show. I honestly love it. I don't get into new anime too often anymore, but after seeing a bit of Spy Family, I basically binged it. When these are finished, I don't actually know if you can tell I took inspiration from the Spy Family style, but I did try. So the first character I'm drawing is Shelly. She's the pink cat with a cupcake and a strawberry on her head. Her personality is sort of like sassy and annoyed. You can really see it in her expression in the original Squishy, and I just thought it would be so much fun to depict that in human form. Not to mention taking inspiration from cupcakes, strawberries, and just general cuteness I thought would be really fun for a character design. When I was first designing these, I wasn't entirely sure if I wanted to keep the cat features, but then I decided at a certain point, I was like, it would be really cute to have that. And also, I really wanted to use the Spy Family logo and replace the word spy with cat, so I was like, you know what, I should probably keep the cat features. With Shelly in particular though, obviously she has like two things on her head in a squishy form, but for a human design that doesn't balance very well, so I decided to take one of them away. I ended up keeping the strawberry basically, I just made it a cute little red hat. For the cupcake though, I just transferred the idea of the cupcake liner into the skirt to make a fun pleated skirt. Shelly also kind of seemed like a cardigan person to me, so I wanted to include that, and I transferred the frosting from the head to the sleeves of the cardigan. I thought it was a cute little design. I've done it before in my own OC designs, but yeah. Also, you could probably see me switching which ear was visible on her head. That's because in the original Squishy, the idea of Mariah Elizabeth's Squishy makeovers is that she takes an old damaged Squishy and she remakes it, and the original Squishy that Shelly had was missing an ear on one side, and that's why there's like a cupcake there instead. And I just felt like I should keep that idea of like the one ear being visible. Even though that detail is also very similar in the other design for Eustace, I just felt like with Shelly in particular, she like started without an ear there, so I just thought it would be good to keep that detail for her. We're just about to the coloring stage for Shelly, so I just wanted to say it was so much fun working on this. Mariah Elizabeth is basically what I would call my favorite YouTuber. She's the only YouTuber right now that I have merch of, and that merch is like a plush. I don't have these characters as their plushes. The reason I designed these characters as humans first is because they currently have their plushes re-released, and with that re-release, they also made a Derek plush, which is the two main Squishies child. So that's going on right now, and I thought it would be good to kind of hype that up with some fan art. Also, funny enough, something I didn't realize was this past week was Mariah Elizabeth's birthday, so I guess it's a happy birthday kind of video, even though I don't know if she'd ever watch this. I've just always really wanted to draw some of her characters as humans. I mean, she has so many characters, and so many of them would be so much fun to humanize. Like, I honestly have so many of hers that I want to do, but her characters aren't the only characters that I want to humanize for my speed paints. But I thought of doing her characters first because I was kind of binging her videos in the last week. I was sort of struggling for ideas for what to draw for my next speed paint. And as I was listening to her videos, one of her suggestions being like, imagine something in a new form, really just got me thinking and excited to do some humanization designs. Some other things that I would love to humanize are like Animal Crossing, Sanrio, cute stuff like that that would translate pretty well in my enjoyment of making cute designs. Anyway, so now that Shelly is almost done, I couldn't decide what color to make her hair exactly. In the squishy, her cat fur is pink, but on her head she has the white frosting, and I was kind of thinking like the frosting and like the ice cream on Eustace's head, I was kind of thinking that those were like the hair colors, but Shelly's frosting is like white, and I really wanted her to have pink hair, so I sort of just combined it. Also on the squishy, the frosting had like these round sprinkles, and I really wanted to include that somewhere, so I just put that on her shirt. But yeah, now we're on to Eustace, the second design. So for Eustace's character, he's a brown cat with mint chocolate chip ice cream on his head, along with an ice cream cone on one side that basically replaces his ear. He also has a cherry on the other side of his head, you know, to go with the ice cream. 
And on the squishy, he has like an expression of what Mariah explains is like creepy, sort of mischievous. He has his tongue out like he's licking up towards the ice cream. And Mariah always said that his personality is more on the creepy side and being weird. And I was like, well, that's a very interesting character concept. It definitely made him not my favorite character, but it's still pretty fun. This is going to sound so weird because I'm like kind of invested in these squishies, but I remember when it was like kind of revealed that the two became a couple. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself, but I remember when it was revealed in one of the random videos and being like, what? But he's so creepy. Why would she ever get with him? She's so annoyed with him all the time. <laughs> like that sounds so silly, but I was very invested in how these characters feel. <laughs> and look at them now with a child and everything. This does remind me though that I wanted to mention, I've been watching her videos since 2018. I think she maybe had two or three squishy makeover videos out. I was pretty lucky to have found her so early in comparison to how popular she is now. I feel like I'm pretty lucky to have seen her grown throughout the years with how much she has improved with her squishy designs and all her other videos as well. Because me saying that she's my favorite YouTuber, I do actually make sure that I watch her video every week. They come out every Friday and I'm always excited to watch. Oh, we're on the coloring for Eustace already. So I wanted to definitely make his mint chocolate chip ice cream his hair color. I thought that mint was such like a fun hair color for him. For the rest of his design, I wanted to keep that cherry on his head and make it a hat to also kind of match with Shelly. I made the ice cream cone on his head into his shirt actually, and I kept the shape with his like unzipped hoodie to make it sort of a triangle shape. I will also eventually change his pants color to red to sort of bring more red into his design from his cherry hat. I do think it looks way better like that. Also for his shoes, I sort of like added a few lines to sort of emulate cat paws. I don't know if it really translates, but it's there. And also it gets kind of hidden by the darker color of his shoes. But you know, the, the thought is there. I did test out making that shirt sort of a mesh shirt with some like fishnets in it. And I was like, uh... Maybe before he had a family he would have worn that, but he has a child now. Let's put that away. <laughs> but yeah, I did consider it, and I, I thought he did look good in it, but yeah. As Eustace is getting finished up now, I'm pretty happy with the design result. I feel like it captures his personality and the idea of his original Squishy, and I just think it looks pretty nice. I really like him. Last but not least is little Derek. His original form is a little cat Squishy, He's holding a little heart that's covered in the white frosting and the green ice cream, as well as his head is also covered in both of those colors. And his personality is a mischievous little scamp. He gets into lots of trouble with the other squishies. He's really an adorable character. He might be my favorite character of the three. Although for the human designs, Shelly is probably my favorite, but that's clearly because she's pink and pretty. For the human design of Derek, I really wanted to keep that little heart that he carries around, but I made it into his shirt instead. It's pretty common for children to have cute designs on their shirts, so I thought it would work. I really do love the idea of him carrying around his heart squishy everywhere. Maybe he still would, but for the clothing design, I just really wanted to include it. As this last design gets drawn, I thought I would tell you a bit about how my week went. I had quite the week. Early in the week, I had a pretty severe computer problem that was really stressing me out. The problem was kind of building in the last few weeks, and this past Sunday, it was like, you gotta fix this now or else. So I had to like rush to the store, get something, open up my computer, which I've never done on my own before, install the thing I got, not know how to actually go into the computer settings and activate what I had installed. So get stressed again, think that I spent money for nothing, all this stuff, it did get fixed in the end. Although I did have to uninstall and reinstall Clip Studio Paint, and if you know that program, you know there's a lot of stuff that you can install to make your experience great. And I really only backed up like the Windows setup. I didn't realize that it doesn't back up all your stuff. So I was not having a good time this week trying to reinstall all the stuff that I had downloaded. Like all the patterns and colors and all the different brushes. It stressed me out quite a lot, but in the end, it's okay. I did lose some stuff, but it's okay. I was stressed out because of what was happening in real life, so getting to draw this little family was really fun. I hope you enjoyed it, and I definitely want to do more humanization designs in the future. Which design have I done here that you like the most? 
I'd love to hear if there are any characters you would be interested in seeing me making humans. Thank you so much to my patrons who help support me making more videos. I hope you have a great day.